Hello students, welcome to ECLMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed the career opportunities in physics and we looked at how the knowledge of physics can make one do or join different professions and careers in the field of science. Now, in this lesson, we are going to discuss the laboratory and laboratory safety rules. My name is Albert. I hope you are going to enjoy this lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to define a laboratory. And we are going to see a laboratory is a special, special room where scientific research is done. Then the other thing that I could expect you to be able to state the major systems in an average school laboratory. So we are going to state a few systems that must be found in a school physics laboratory, like water supply, gas piping, uh, working benches, and some apparatus. And then finally, I would expect you to state and explain 10 basic laboratory rules, the rules that must be followed while you are in a laboratory. So, a laboratory is a special room designed and equipped for conducting scientific research. So for a room to be called a laboratory, it must be designed in a specific way which we are going to see. And it must be equipped, equipped with apparatus and equipment for doing or for conducting scientific research. And in conducting a scientific research, then we must do experiments and measurements. Remember when we were discussing the scientific methods of learning, experimentation and measurement was part of the scientific method of learning. So for us to do a scientific research, we must measure and we must do experiments. And these experiments and measurements are done in a physics uh, laboratory. An average school laboratory must have an electrical energy supply because most experiments we are going to do in physics involves electricity. Remember one of the branches of physics is electricity and magnetism. So we are going to conduct different experiments that require electricity and lighting also. Then we must have water and gas piping water and gas piping, water is for cleaning the apparatus, and then gas piping is for heating purposes, because some experiments, remember, we discussed a branch of science called thermodynamics, which involves heat. So we must have a gas piping for heating purposes. Then we must have working benches. Working benches, this is where you place your apparatus, where you are conducting experiments. And then we should have cabinets. Cabinets for storage of equipment and chemicals. So in every school laboratory, you must be able to get the four uh, systems. One is electrical energy supply. Then we have water and gas piping system. We have working benches. And then we have cabinets where we store equipment, apparatus, and chemicals. So it's important to note some, that some chemicals and equipment are very dangerous in the laboratory and we are going to see that before you handle an apparatus or a chemical you must consult a, a teacher in charge now why must we observe some rules while we are in the laboratory we observe some rules in the lab because we want to ensure that we are safe and our friends are safe also the room in which we are conducting our scientific research is safe. So the first rule that must be observed when in the laboratory is that proper dressing must be observed. There should be no loose clothing, no loose air, and closed shoes must be worn. Now the reason why we must not have loose clothing and loose air is because when it is loose, it might even catch uh, fire. Like you can see in this picture on the screen, there is a student here who went to the lab with loose air and it catched fire. Then loose clothing also might knock some of the chemicals on the bench and then it 
they might cause some burns as we are going to see some of the accidents in the laboratory. Now we must wear close to shoes because some chemicals might splash. And when they splash and they find that you are on open shoes, they might burn your legs. So we insist that students must wear uh, closed shoes. The second rule that must be observed in a laboratory is that you, a student must identify the location of electric switches, firefighting equipment, first aid kit, and water and gas supply system. Now, the reason why you must identify the location of these sensitive things is because in case of like an accident involving electricity, you should be able to switch the main switch off in order to avoid further and fatal uh, damages. The reason why you must identify the position of the fire fighting equipment is that in case of fire, you can put off the fire using the fire extinguishers. Then the first aid kit is in case of an accident in the laboratory, and we want to look at the accidents in the laboratory. You can be able to dress your wound and do first aid to avoid uh, dangerous damages uh, in case of an accident. And then the reason why we must identify the gas and water piping system sources is that in case of a leakage of a gas or water, we can put it off to avoid wastage and even damages because some gases in our laboratory are very flammable. The third rule that must be observed in the laboratory is that to keep all windows open whenever working in the laboratory for free circulation of air. Sometimes we do experiments in the laboratory that involve emission of gases like chlorine, which are very dangerous gases because they are acidic gases. So for us to make sure that our safety is taken care of, you have to open windows and doors to allow oxygen from outside to come in and take away the dangerous gases and fumes. Another rule number four is follow the instructions carefully and never attempt anything in doubt. If you are in the lab and you are doubting whatever you are doing, it's very important that you stop doing it and even consult the teacher before you can do that to avoid accidents. The fifth rule is that no eating or drinking in the laboratory. Don't come into the laboratory with food. Don't even come with chewing gums because it might mix up with fumes in the lab or the food can be contaminated with chemicals which can be harmful to your health. So in this photo in the screen you can see you should not eat or drink while in the laboratory. The sixth rule that must be observed in a laboratory is that ensure all electric switches and gas and water taps are turned off when not in use. Now, why must we turn these uh, important resources in the lab off? The reason why we do that is to avoid wastage. If we allow gases and water taps to run and they are not in use, they might be very expensive to replace and even gases can cause accidents in case there is a flame uh, open in the lab. Another rule, that is the seventh rule, is that keep the flow and the working benches dry. End spill must be wiped immediately. So when you are in the lab, make sure that end spill on the bench is wiped. It might be an acid and it might burn your hands. So you wipe it and you dry that place to ensure that you are safe and you also your friends are safe. Another rule that must be observed when you are in the laboratory, that's rule number eight, is to ensure that all apparatus are cleaned and returned to the correct location of storage before leaving the laboratory. Now, the reason why we clean is to make sure that the next group that will come in the lab to do a scientific research will get the apparatus ready for use. And then the reason why we collect the, 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 we collect the apparatus and store them properly is to avoid misplacing them. Then the rule number nine is that any accident, any accident uh, in the laboratory like burns, cuts, and even splash of chemicals must be reported immediately to the teacher. 
in case of any accident in the lab don't keep quiet to yourself it might be contaminated it might be contaminated with dangerous and harmful chemicals which might be harmful to your health so you report immediately to the teacher and the teacher will take immediate action or even take you for further medical checkup so students we have discussed the uh, laboratory and we have defined the laboratory as a special room equipped and designed for scientific research experiments and measurements we have also looked at different uh, laboratory rules that must be followed we have looked at nine laboratory rules right from proper dressing to reporting accidents in the laboratory now that is the end of our lesson today in the next lesson we will look at the common accidents in the laboratory and then we will be done with topic one of form one and then from the next videos we will be discussing topic two of form one that is measurements one